All right, there's a nice new change in 24.2. When you connect to a published data source inside of Tableau Desktop, you can now see the data model. What does that mean? Well, here I'm actually connected to three data sources. I connected to one to test this feature, then I published another one, and then I connected to it again as a published data source. That's why I have three here. I should have named them. It's a really bad habit that I'm into. But nonetheless, if I go and edit this connection, because this is the original data source, I can see the data model absolutely fine. You can see this interface is the standard data modeling interface that you get. If we go back to sheet one by clicking here on the bottom, uh, what this should do is should take us back to this page. I'll click the show me button because that's distracting. And if I actually go to the data source that I've just published based on that connection I just showed you, if I go ahead and hit edit data source, you'll see that we now get this view. It's slightly different because we can't edit this view. It's a published data source. And you can see here, there's a little lock icon to say, hey, look, um, this data source is locked because it's a published data source, it's read only. There is a way to change these. You go to Tableau Cloud, you go to Tableau Server, and you can edit them there. There's actually a new editing capability there. And when you make a change there, it pushes it down to the data source. But here, the new thing is that you can see this data model. So as an end user, if you're gonna use this published data source, you actually get some visibility into how the data model is built. This is great for governance, great for transparency and clarity, but critically, it gives people who are using these data sources a little bit more of a tactile sort of feedback as to what's going on. So if you get any odd behaviors in the way that your calculations work, you can actually see the root cause here. So that's pretty much it. That's the change. There's nothing more radical than that. And um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.